Once upon a time, there lived a king, and the king had three daughters. Every morning, he went to the forest with his daughters, until one morning, when a large black cloud appeared in the sky. King, you must give me your eldest daughter, or else I will take the sun from the sky. Then the king said, If you are a good spirit, come down. If you are a bad spirit, go away. So off the cloud went, and he took the sun with it. The next morning, they went for a walk again, and a black cloud appeared again. King, give me your middle daughter, or else I'll take the moon from the sky. The king did not do as the cloud demanded, and so it took the moon. On the third day, the cloud appeared again. King, give me your youngest daughter, or else I will steal all the stars. The king did not obey, and so it took the stars. The world was ruled by darkness. One morning, one day, Prince Nick came out for a walk with his younger brother. Brother, I would bring back the sun, the moon, and all the stars, and the king would give me half of his kingdom and his youngest daughter's hand in marriage. The king heard what the prince said, and he sent for him, saying, Look, boy, if you did not do as you suggested, I shall have you executed. Give me a good sword, your majesty, and I shall set forth. And off he went through seven lands. He eventually came into the silver forest. Then he found the silver bridge. He struck the bridge and the plank came loose. Then a dragon rode upon a horse and the horse stumbled. The dragon said, May dogs drink your blood. I have crossed this bridge for three years, but my horse has never stumbled. What happened? Fire for me, water for you. Both of us must perish. The dragon climbed out from his horse and said, Prince Nick, come out from your hiding place under the bridge. I have no use in Shino bacon and a seed, that I will have to do battle with you. How shall we fight? Wrestling, sticks, or swords? Wrestling is for dogs, six are for swine herds, swords are for heroes. And they began to fight. They fought and fought until Prince Nick cut off two of the dragon's heads. Prince Nick, spare my last head and I will return all the stars to you. Where are they? There, under my saddle. Take them. Prince Nick took the stars from under the saddle, chopped the dragon's last head off, and walked away. He eventually came into the silver forest. There he found a silver bridge and struck it with a sword. Two planks broke off and he hid himself under the bridge. The seven-headed dragon appeared and his horse stumbled. I have crossed this bridge for seven years but my horse has never stumbled. Why does he do it now? Fire for me, water for you, both of us must perish. Prince Nick! Come out from your hiding place under the bridge. I have no news since you know bigger than a sea that I'll have to do battle with you. How shall we fight? Wrestling, sticks, or swords? Wrestling is for dogs. Sticks are for swine herds. Swords are for heroes. They fought and fought until at last Prince Nick cut off six of the dragon's heads. Prince Nick, spare my last head and I will return you the moon. It is under my saddle. Prince Nick took the moon out and put it with the stars. And then he chopped off the dragon's last head. He walked and walked until Prince Nick arrived at the diamond forest. He eventually came into the diamond bridge and struck him with the sword. Three planks broke off and he hid himself. A dragon appeared with twelve heads and a horse stumbled at the bridge. What happened? I have never stumbled in all twelve years. Fire for me, water for you, both of us must perish.
I have known you since you know bigger than a seed, and I'll have to do the battle with you. How shall we fight? Wrestling, sticks, or swords? Wrestling is for dogs, sticks are for swine herds, swords are for heroes. They fought and fought until Prince Nick cut off 11 of the dragon's heads. Prince Nick, spare me my last head, and I shall give you the sun. It is there, under my saddle. Prince, the dragon had a horse with only three legs. <laughs> then this horse could run faster than any horse with four. Prince Nick took them, put the moon and the stars under the saddle, mounted the horse with only three legs, shocked the dragon's last head off, and rode away. As he soon reached, as as he soon reached the end of the forest, a little man spoke to him. A little man spoke to him. Prince Nick, do you think the sun and the stars are, the moon and the stars are yours to keep? Yes. Who shall we have? Me. Prince Nick, does a fight with the little man. As he as he climbed, the little man put. Jumped on the on the saddle with the horse with only three legs, and he rode off. And he rode off. When he and he followed him. When he followed, he found a man. The man was crying. Why are you crying? I'm crying because if I open my eyes, I could see the world, but see no further. Come with me, and you'll be able to use your eyes again. As they walked, they met a man who sat crying. Why are you crying? I'm crying because if I take one step, I would step over the world, but then can step no further. Come with me, and you'll be able to step again. One, when they, when they found, when they walked, they found, they found a house where the little man lived, but it was not at home. Have a good, and then Prince Nicholas said to the first man, have a good look around and see, and, and see that, and have a good look around and try to find, to find a little man with a long beard. I, I can see him. He's sitting on top of a willow tree in the middle of the sea. Catch a little man for me, he told the second man. And then the second man took one step, caught the little man, and, and returned it to Prince Snake by his beard. Then Prince Snake took, took the sun, the moon, and the stars away from him. He let the stars fly up into the sky. As they journeyed, he let the moon go too. And as they journeyed, he let the moon go too. And as they grew close to home, and as they grew close to home, he let the sun go so that it would arrive back in the bright daylight. So that it would right, arrive back in the bright daylight. So the three men were reunited. So the three men were reunited and and they allowed the king to to give and and, and the king allowed Prince like to to give him half of his kingdom. They had a wonderful wedding and they all live happily ever after.